Okay, so in our previous video, we expanded out some simple brackets involving thirds. So um, that was using the distributive law, a number, or in our case, a third, which is a number, um, times uh, a bracket with two terms in it. Um, so we know that to expand that out, a times b plus a times c. Um, here we want to look at, a, at binomial products. So that is products where we have two terms in each bracket. Um, and for that, we need the double distributive law. So remembering that we everything in the first bracket multiplies everything in the second bracket to get a times c plus a times d plus b times c plus b times d. Okay, so it's really just about taking your time. Okay, Don't skip too many steps. If you can help it, you'll make mistakes. Um, but we just need to multiply all four things together. Okay, so expanding out these brackets, we're going to get 3 times root 5, which is just 3 root 5 then 3 times negative 4, so that's negative 12. Then we're going to have root 5 times root 5. Now remember, root 5 times root 5. Yes, it's root 25, but it's easier to think about it as root 5 squared because it's just 5. If you're multiplying a third by itself, it's just going to give you the number under the third. So root a times root a is root a squared, which means it's a. Okay, so we wouldn't bother if we just go straight from here to here. Um, so root 5 times root 5 is 5, and then we've got root 5 times negative 4, so that's minus 4 root 5. And then we can collect together some like terms, so we have 3 root 5 minus 4 root 5, so that's negative 1 lot of root 5, so just negative root 5. And then we've got negative 12 plus 5, negative 12 plus 5 is going to be negative 7. Both terms are negative, so it doesn't help me to write them the other way around. I'm just going to leave my answer as negative root 5 minus 7. Obviously, also, negative 7 minus root 5 is the same answer. Okay, example 2, expanding out the brackets. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2 root 2 is still just 2 root 2. Negative root 2 times 3 is going to be negative 3 lots of root 2. And negative root 2 times positive 2 root 2. So negative times a positive is going to be negative. And you're going to have 2. And root 2 times root 2 is 2. Okay, So it's actually just going to be 2 times 2. Um, so we've got 3 uh, plus 2 root 2 minus 3 root 2. Sorry, uh, yeah. Uh, let's just do the 3 minus 2 times 2 is 4. So it's 3 minus 4, which is negative 1 and 2 root 2 minus 3 root 2, which is negative root 2. Again, both negatives. Yes, it's the same as you writing it as negative root 2 minus 1. Exactly the same. Neither is better or worse than the other. Okay, um, example 3. 2 root 7 minus 3 times 3 minus 4 root 7. Okay, so again, just take it one step at a time. 2 root 7 times 3, that's 6 root 7. 2 root 7 times negative 4 root 7. Okay, it's so a positive times a negative, so it'll be negative. 2 times 4 is 8, and root 7 times root 7 is 7. Yes, it's root 49, that's 7. Okay, then we've got negative 3 times 3, it's negative 9. And negative 3 times negative 4 root 7, so that's negative 12 root 7. 6 root 7 minus 12 root 7 is negative 6 root 7. So I've got a lot of negatives in these examples. Sorry, it wasn't deliberate. Uh, 8 times 7, 7 eighths are 56. Um, so negative 56 take away 9 is negative 65. And so that's our answer. Again, you could write it as negative 65 minus 6 root 7. Neither is better or worse than the other. Exactly the same. Okay, and then question 4. Um, 3 root 2, so just one at a time again. 3 root 2 times 5 root 3, so 3 times 5 is 15, root 2 times root 3 is root 6. 3 root 2 times negative root 2, so it's going to be positive times a negative, so it'll be minus. 3 times 1 is just 3, root 2 times root 2 is 2. Um, and then we've got negative 4 root 3 times 5 root 3, so again it's negative times positive, so it's going to be negative. 4 times 5 is 20, root 3 times root 3, that's 3. And then finally, we've got negative 4 root 3 times negative root 2. So it's going to be positive. 4 times 1 is 4. Root 3 times root 2 is root 6. Okay, so we've got 15 root 6 minus 6 minus 60 
and plus 4 root 6. So we can collect like terms. 15 root 6 plus 4 root 6 is 19 root 6. Minus 6 minus 60 is negative 66. Um, just to bear in mind too that it's quite possible, um, and none of these examples illustrated that, and my apologies for that, but it's quite possible that when we expand out the brackets we get thirds that then need to be simplified. So let's say, let me add in an example 5 here, let me make something up. Let's say for example that we have um, 2 root 2 plus 1 times 7 minus... Um, let me just think about my numbers. 